Closet Confessions by myself. It's a little packing video. I'm going to Madrid for the weekend. It's turning in spring there, seven degrees in the morning, 16 by the afternoon. And I thought it'd be an opportunity. I'm gonna take hand luggage. I'm gonna take my lower plug. I wanna test out some new spring summer looks and see how I feel. Nothing like going to a slightly warm country to try them out. There's a few different personas, a few different sides of me that are developing that I'm thinking, where am I gonna take that? And I've also bought a couple of new things from COS, so I'm gonna incorporate them into the wardrobe. First thing is this shirt from COS with some very old, I think they're Paige or Zara jeans with a frayed bottom. Now it's boots, but I feel there's an opportunity for a boot, a trainer and a heel in this weekend. I don't normally wear this length shirt sleeve, but I like it. And I've got an idea for a quite classic look, which is this Loewe. God, one day we'll pronounce that properly. And I'm going there this weekend, so should all come to me, shouldn't it? Classic look I haven't done for years of blazer white shirt done up and a skinny pair of jeans. Not skinny, they're just actually crop straight. It's quite androgynous, but I think there's a delicacy to the shirt that I like, a little half tuck. Also another new purchase from Cos. I've gone crazy with Cos, but I love the thickness and the height of that strap. It's everything to me. Walking around Madrid, this works. This is definitely not seven degrees, but it is 16. So what's something I can take with me for the weekend that will go everywhere? Now I invested in something recently that was not cheap. Look away anyone who is saving. And I want to give you the name, but it's not written here because these are reversible. She makes these coats, jackets, gilets, and a friend of mine was wearing one at the weekend and I fell in love. On one side, it's a sort of slate with a navy. On the other side, it's black with the navy and a green. So I'm just going to do the navy side. But traveling and seven degrees, that's great because I've now got a coat, a gilet and a, a jacket. Jacket, that's what it is. This is the only bag I think I'll take for the weekend. Great traveling, quite roomy. And if I want to do it the other way around and just wear this sleeveless, I could. And if I want to turn it and wear it the other way, it just could be an incredibly flexible piece I could wear through the whole weekend. So let's just see how that theme develops. This is one look I want to try out. Going back to something I did a few years ago and wearing that androgynous with a bit of feminine. This is something that's been lurking in my wardrobe for ages. It's a jean from Zara, which is like the wide leg one. I thought it was the very wide leg one you all love, but I bought it home and it was the barrel. I haven't been wearing the barrel jean at all, but I've got a shirt here from the row, which I got in the sale at Dove Street Market. What I love is that it's an incredibly good length. It's a beautiful silk. I got it for like 80% off. Otherwise, I think the row is totally beyond my budget. But these jeans are interesting. They're a new shape. And sometimes we need to really think, can we embrace a new shape? Because it gives a whole new dimension to how you're dressing. From the side, there's a coolness. Now, I could go back to the jacket that I had on. Let's try that. Let's see if the jacket of this length is appealing to these trousers. I'm going to say, I think the answer is going to be no. Terrible. I'm not going to wear that. Now we're just aimlessly trying things on. I think it would have to work with a really long, casual, easy coat like this. But there's something about the length that's not working for me. I love that flare going all the way down to the bottom of my shoe with the ones that I did have that I thought these were. So I've tried it and I realise it's for somebody with long legs or it's to wear in the height of summer with a t-shirt and nothing else. So you get some fit here at the waist, but they will not be coming in my suitcase. This could be called My Life in Cos and Me and M. This is a shirt I have had from Cos for about eight years and I have worn it once, but I keep it because it's beautiful and I know I'll wear it at one stage. And the time has come because it's stretchy. It's like a jacket and a shirt together. But these are me and M doing that slight barrel leg. And I prefer this. It works better. It's just narrow at the bottom. Slightly tapered pleated trouser. But I like the cleanness of it. I think it works. I think this shirt works really well. I'm so happy to wear it. And I'm thinking would I wear it with this little baby? Like that. Just there and then maybe i need to sort of jazz it up with something mad i'm getting very classic and when i'm getting very classic i need something very unclassic to make it come to life so that does it for me there i feel good the barrel there's volume at the bottom with volume at the bottom but i don't mind probably i would do my bag again 
and that works. I like this little waistband over the trouser and the blues are similar, so they work together. Definitely be another look and it feels like I could put a scarf on or I could be warm, cool. I'm going in museums and outside, I'm walking around markets, I'm then in the shop, I'm then having lunch outside. I could have a little jumper somewhere. This one, it's the lamb's wool one, but it sort of goes into nothing. So I could just roll it and put it in this bag and I would still fit my phone and my wallet, which is all I need. And I've got a little spare jumper there in case I get cold. I like this sleeveless thing. It could be my main center for everything. It also does look very cool the other way. I like to wear, it's black this, and I was slightly worried about it, but with that navy shirt, it takes on a different meaning. I like that little bit of green poking out. That works too. In case I wanted to switch things out, just about get away with, I don't know if these colors go, but because they're both cool navies, this is more Air Force dark navy and this is more indigo, but the shirt goes really well with the jacket. So I think I could do that. Just wear that one day too, or wear that for dinner. There's an interchangeability I like. Now I'm going to the yellow is everything. I love this yellow top. It's from Cost as well, and it would go really well with. Kind of love it. It's a lot of volume if this is closed. If it's open, it works. This is the Sakai gilet I got in New York. I can't, I don't think I can bring both. Now we're going two totally different directions, but I do love the yellow with gray for that spring is in the air moment. I'm thinking now I could do this jacket. You know what I'm really lacking? I'm lacking a pair of gray jeans, but anyway, I could do this jacket as a jacket. I'm going down a whole different direction, but that, which is nice if it's cold, and I do have trousers to this, but I really quite like having the pattern of this jacket because I might wear it with jeans. Um, this is a necklace I got from Tanzania. Wanted an opportunity to wear it and Donna Ida jeans. This could be the basis of an outfit. And I did with it a little bit of Pia and Shasha together because I wanted that kind of orangey, pinky shade to wear with the acid yellow. Works well. I'm thinking also what jacket I'll do. It's 16 degrees, so... I could do that. I don't usually do navy and acid, but I love the freshness of this actually. And then these are quite long and it's going to be warm. So I will do my little trick taking these babies and I just put them over something. I'm sure you've done this, but it's a way of having that sleeve shorter when you've got something you want to show off underneath. Oh, I do love the acid with the navy. I adore it. I'm happy feeling this is one outfit that's going in. Might not go with any heels, but it makes me happy. And you know how I'm obsessing now about hats. I'm going to Spain, I bought these in Ronda, but I like the idea of the navy out with it. I love this idea. And is this 16 degrees in Madrid? Yeah, just need a bag amazing actually how you can get on a theme and one top can change everything so this is my Bella Freud I wore in the winter and I wore it in a very wintry way with this neony acid yellow it's another whole look and I love it I could put the silver bag on sorry I snuck that in when I was in cost um silver like that oh my god I want to wear it every day my kosha with the jeans and then I was going to go to this sleeveless friend of mine Kind of works. Let's get the bag back. The bag is like the best accessory to bring some excitement to the outfit. Really nice. Just gives that warmth where you need it. I could throw the scarf on as well, but I might get a different scarf. Do a little thing I do around my neck. Do that. It's got the little white in it and it's got the sort of mute, neutral shades. It's kind of fun. This shirt sleeve is good to bring some volume up here from the volume that's down there does work. I could do that, yes. Another scarf option to just around my neck. It's very soft blue, really nice. I am thinking, do I take the hat as well? March, Madrid, seven degrees to 16. This is too hot for 16. You know what? It's not too hot for 16 because if I said 14, I'd say, oh, fine. 15, yes. 16 isn't t-shirt weather and this works and I can always shove that in my bag. Well, actually I realized I still got the jump, haven't I? But I could have this instead in there. I've nearly gone full circle, but this is that scarf, which takes up no room with my white shirt like that. 
and give myself a rack. I like that look. And then if the weather gets hot, I just then take it off. And I got really clean shirt, minimal. And when it's clean and minimal, the weather is sunny. I can put back my glasses. And there, that little tiny cuff detail, which I couldn't have got with the short sleeve shirt is really very nice. I love the cleanness of this outfit. Sometimes you just want to remove the fuss. So I've got an extremely fussy outfit, the yellow and the silver and the gray and the bag and everything. And then I got this really clean outfit. I haven't done evening yet. I feel so boring. I literally took this last weekend to wear, but it's the easiest thing. Black tights, not fair legs. And I'm walking to dinner. So take what is by now my really old friend and have that for dinner. It's actually really nice with the volume skirt. This is not the outfit you feel sexy and it's the outfit you feel cool with. Without the bare leg there, but I'll just deal with that. So I could do that. And then I feel I want something at my neck, which feels a bit cool. Just for a little something happening there. I think I'm done, so I might take some pictures when I'm in Madrid and show you what I finally ended up wearing. Just arriving. Nothing better than arriving at sunlight. I'm so happy to be back in Madrid. It's going to be warmer than I expected. I don't think I'm going to need that coat, which I have taken off, but lots of options and all in hand luggage. And Lila's going to be there as well. She just got in from Segovia onto the train, so we see each other in 30 minutes. This is what I wore for dinner, which was the... How do I pronounce these trousers? Loewe. Thank Loewe. you. Loewe. The Spaniard in the room, really good friend of mine, Katty, and Lila is obviously learning Spanish, Loewe trousers. It's when we're on top. And the sort of 17 or 18 year old Mark Jacobs um, waist jacket. Oh wow. Yeah. I mean, I have all things in my wardrobe. Yeah. And I love this look. Good morning all. Yes, I nearly slept in the hat. Can we have breakfast in our beautiful hotel? I can't wait to show you. It's a dream. My dream of a hotel, Santo Mare, in Madrid, just off that breakfast. Outfit for today is my, well, of my trousers, or um, waistcoat, and long t shirt from Cos, necklace from Tanner, and then a suit jacket from another suit over it, because it is going to start off a bit chillier, but arms up to show off the lovely yellow. And then if it's chillier still, I do that, and I get my little. This is so handy, my Lueve brooch, put it there. I just can't live without, like that. And then my bag on cost, which also would close up that if I wanted it to. Big strap works really well. And as I get warmer, I'll just put the bag over my shoulders. We're gonna to go to have breakfast very late today and the house is sunny um, afterwards, uh, which is this museum. Just went for a lovely lunch just outside Madrid. So charming, heard the birds singing. The flowers are wanting to come out. And now we're back in the center of town. We to return some jeans from Zara for a friend and just have a little wander. Yeah. A little bun bun. Do you know which way we're going? No, we'll find it. I always like to come to the way of it to challenge my sense of style and try something new. I don't like wearing yeah. jeans, but I just seen these shoes that are always on me. Oh, really cool. And I just thought they're cool. Really cool. And this as a concept I love, which is when a necklace has a baby with a shirt. It's meant to be worn as a mini dress, I'd never wear it. But I just love this detail. It gives me inspiration of what I can do with my own clothes. But they have a necklace they've sewn here to drape a long shirt. So I'm thinking, what necklaces do I have at home where I could do that, pull up a long shirt and make something more interesting? Dinner is a silk shirt I got in sale at Wow Concept, which is a store liner and I go to when we're here and it was 70% off. I can't tell you the brand, but it's silver and fab and glam. It was 110 euros and I love it so much. I'm wearing with my old jeans from Zara. And I'm my back. There we go. Morning all. Way off today to the flea market, then to a museum, and then to lunch. So I want an outfit that takes me everywhere. And it's nine degrees and it'll get 16. So I've got on my cost trousers with a little stick at the bottom and my boots. This is that wide cost. 
I've got the pearls I got in Zara yesterday. Then I'm going to put on my jacket like this. Because of the nine degrees, and put that <coughs> under one side and over the other and inside, and close up the jacket like that. Then a bag over the top, uh, and that over everything like that. And then as I get warm, I take off layers. Skincare makeup stays SPF 50, see the light. Then Schmuggy flush brush on the cheeks. On the lips is Ella Lip Glow with a little bit of dyeing on top. Eyes are Empress, eye to eye, really smushed out. And then, because it's really sunny, perhaps not the flea market, some mad glasses. I've waited to have an opportunity to wear them, and I think today is the day.